Hey folks, Country Prepper here. So I'm working on building a new get home bag to put in my truck for whatever reason, if I'm going somewhere, going shopping or, you know, whatever, uh, just in case something should happen, there's a major disaster or something and my truck gets incapacitated or the roads are impassable or for whatever reason I'm building a new get home bag. But there were a few things that I wanted to do to make it more modular so that I could take some things off of that pack, put on my belt to not only lighten the load because it's a sling bag. Uh, this is the uh, 3V Gear Outlaw sling bag. And so since it's a sling bag, you kind of want to keep those light. So I wanted to make a few things that I could take off and put on my belt. Uh, also for the reason that if for whatever reason I happen to lose that pack, uh, you know, go sliding down a hill or whatever and lose the pack, uh, then I still have some things on my belt. So I'm also going to be building a sheath that I can mount on the pack that way it just kind of goes wherever the bag goes if I'm in the car or the truck or if I have to ride with somebody or whatever reason. Um, that way it just kind of stays with the pack but I want to be able to take it off and put it on my belt just like uh, what I'm working on today. So this is a little uh, EDC like pack mount, belt mount, uh, works for both. little kit that I made that I'm selling on my website. This is just the first version of a bunch of different kit builders that I'm going to be making. Um, this one's a two ounce kit. I'm also going to be making a four, a six, and an eight ounce kit. I'm also working with Four Directions Bushcraft and Kevin Murphy over at the Mother of All Survival Kits so that I can uh, bring you guys some different options and uh, actually have some uh, full kits that you can buy. Survival kits, fire kits, that sort of thing. But those will be like a special edition thing. Uh, the stuff that you'll see on my website like this, they're going to be empty. Uh, well, I guess this isn't completely empty. It does come with the striker that comes with the ferro rod. But uh, that, that's all that's in it. That way you can build your own kit and it keeps the cost down on it. So I usually keep my prototypes, and this is my first prototype. So I thought I would use it to build a little fire kit, and that's what we're going to have a look at today. So first off, there's a ferro rod on here with shot cord. That way it stays in the loop. Can't lose it that way. And uh, on the back is a tack lock. Now this can be positioned four different ways so that it can ride like this, or this, or this, or all four directions. So in the tin and this just slides in here kind of snaps into place right there it's nice and firm and uh, I got those two little cutouts there that way it makes it a little easier to get in and out we'll set that off to the side right now and I don't have a whole lot in here because this is just a two ounce kit but uh, or two ounce tin but uh, just being a get home bag I don't need probably more than maybe three fires so have a couple of tender quicks and some magnesium capsules. I just put these in a little bag so that they uh, uh, not only stay dry, but just to kind of keep them together so they're not floating around rattling in the kit. And of course, I have a few little pieces of fat wood. Nothing major in here, guys. Here's that striker that comes with the ferro rod. Now I'm also thinking about maybe possibly putting in, you know, a tiny little uh, neck knife that I got from Gear Best. And something like this, a little hook bill knife. And uh, this actually will strike a ferro rod too. So, But it's just, just an idea that I had. I might put that in there instead of the striker because I think this would be more useful just in case something happens to my knife. You know, a little bit of a backup. But uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. And then I just have a couple of uh, alcohol prep pads in here. Those are pretty good fire starter too. So that's just one of the uses for a little kit like this. Um, I can put a Bic holder, uh, like a mini Bic holder on the side of this. Or if you wanted it for like a, a little mini EDC kit or like a little first aid kit or something like that. I can make a, a loop for a small flashlight or something like that. I've actually been looking for flashlights that I can uh, offer with my sheaths and kits and stuff like this on my website. So uh, if you guys know of any really good cheap little flashlights that are perfectly cylindrical as in they don't have any 
big bumps and and uh, cutouts and stuff like that in it uh, that's what works best with the kydex loop um, let me know guys and uh, if you have any other ideas for something a little kit like this that uh, you'd like to see um, I can build just about anything so like I said I have a bunch of different size kits and you'll be seeing those on this channel too because uh, I'm gonna build different little kits and just kind of show how they can be used things like that so anyway just a quick little video today let you guys know what I'm up to and some things that uh, you're gonna be seeing in the future with the get home bag and stuff like that uh, that'll be part of the uh, prepping for winter series and uh, so got a lot of different stuff coming but I thought I'd show you that real quick let you guys know that these are on sale on my website if uh, if anybody's interested in them so that's it for today guys make sure you hit that thumbs up share this and uh, check out all the links in the description box below I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time